everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, and welcome to another awesome video where I am doing a unboxing slash a first impression of the Ninebot by Segway Mini Pro. So I will actually put this thing as underneath the hoverboard category because it is pretty small and it's not a huge handle like the original Segway. So um, one of the very first things that I actually see here with this box is that there is a yellow sticker, which means that there is an update to what they put on the package of this black box. So on the box, I noticed that it says the max payload is 185 pounds. This sticker says here that the maximum payload is actually 220, which is awesome. It was an increase of several poundages for anybody out there. So let's actually open this thing up and let's check it on out. So right when you open up the very first lid here, it says, please read first, but I'm not going to read everything. I'm a little impatient. I want to try this thing out. Um, I know that this thing here, you can actually initialize the unit with a mobile application on your cell phone, Android, or also on your Apple devices. Um, and it, it talks about different speeds and, and how far to ride. And basically you're just making everything look perfect for the, uh, you know, for your little Segway Mini Pro, which I will actually do some more future videos where I'm talking about the application and the setup and what you can do with the application, as well as what I really think about this little Segway Mini Pro by Ninebot, because I just kind of want to show you the first look and also an unboxing. So the first thing that I see here um, is a small information, probably talking about user, uh, yeah, the user manual and also your limited warranty. So let's move this on over and let's check out the unit. So the first thing that you're going to see on the very top, Alrighty, looks as if it's going to be your little handle. So this right here, um, this is a little clamp that you'll actually place onto your little Segway Mini Pro, and you're basically just going to clamp it right on in there. Um, and you should be doing everything with your knee usually in terms of the turning from what I've kind of looked at on the internet. Um, everything else is kind of done with leaning forward or back a little bit. All right, so we took off the unit, but I also see another box. So let's check out what's inside this box over here. Okay, let's move this out of the way. So inside this box, it looks as if there's a little uh, extended air tap. So it's a way that you'd be able to blow up the tires. Um, you also have the decorative blade thin and a decorative blade thick. So we'll see exactly what that means. Uh, and also the charger. So when you open it out up, here is the charger, which I'll show you here in a second where you plug it on in. And these are a little decorative blades, uh, the thin and the thick. So let's see what they're talking about. And this right here is for uh, pumping up the tires, you know, in, inside your little Segway Mini Pro here. So let's move this out of the way as well. Let's take off this little beast. So this looks exactly kind of like any other hoverboard out there. Um, but for me, it looks just a little bit more solid, a little bit more sturdy. Uh, the wheels look a little bit taller. Um, let's actually move this around. Because this right here, this is where you actually put in your little handle. So let's actually place this on in there. There we go. It's actually very simple to put together. So let's turn this thing around. And let me show you guys this little clip right here. So this right here, you'll spin this around for the height of where your knees will go. So I'm going to just put it right here and we'll see if I'm right. You also have a little walker. So you can actually walk it forward and back. So right now it's not doing anything. Um, but let's see what happens when you actually turn it on. Um, I'm going to take off these little pieces of plastic where it tells you to put your feet. And actually right before I turn it on, I just noticed where you charge this thing. So what you'll do is you'll take your little charger, you're going to plug it into the wall. And this little piece right here is actually going to go right in the very front where you got this little handle. You lift it up. You open up the little cap and then you'll actually charge it that way. So let's, let's turn this little thing on. Ah, <laughs> hey, that's actually uh, pretty cool. It, it auto self stabilized, which, which is amazing. It has some, uh, some gyroscopes in there. Um, so you kind of see how easy this is. Uh, this right here should turn it. All right. So what I'm going to do, um, I, I'm way too impatient. So I'm going to just stand on this thing, let you guys know the first impression. Um, I have ridden a hoverboard last year at CES, uh, and, and I, it was a complete fail. did not do well at all. Um, and also the, two, the, the cool thing is that there's actually a little um, sensor, a little proximity sensor in the very front, a light sensor, that I noticed uh, in other videos that if it is dark, there's a little uh, headlamp in the front. So right now I have to have light so I can show you this thing. But other than that, if it is dark, 
Uh, there will be a little light in the front. Um, in the back, hey, that's pretty cool. Huh. Okay, cool. Again, the self stabilizer. So we turned it around, you can see the, uh, you know, the colors and stuff. So I guess red means you're going backwards, blue means you're going forward. So let's actually turn it around and let's stand on this little beast. So, first impression, um, it's easy. Uh, I, I just got on this thing. Uh, when I actually tried the hoverboard last year at CES, uh, I had somebody hold my hand and I couldn't even do this. Um, so what, what I'm basically doing is I'm leaning forward. I don't have to touch the middle and I can still go forward. The middle, what it's for is kind of to stabilize you, but also you spin. So if you turn this way, you're gonna actually turn around. It'll be a faster 360 if you lean back a little bit. So if I turn this side here, if I was to lean back a little bit, you can see I'm turning as well. So uh, first impression, definitely easy. Uh, it has a little bit of get up and go. So uh, you know what? Very nimble, very quick. So let's, let's try this out to you, one-legged. Now, if you have a hoverboard, I doubt you're able to do that. Uh, this thing is ridiculous. Let me try something here. And there we go. We fall down. Let's see the auto gyroscope there. So <laughs> uh, I'm very impressed, very happy. Um, I'm, I'm too excited. I'm going to have to pretty much cut this short, this, this video right about now. Um, I, I pretty much want to try this thing out. I want to give it its full you know, charge. I'm going to download the application. I'm going to see what that's all about. Um, and I know that it's going to tell you and teach you and do things. But you know, I've tried a hoverboard before. I figured I can try this out, and uh, I could. So you can actually take this thing out of the box and ride it. You could be a novice, because I'm a novice. I tried it, like I said, in CES, uh, maybe for one minute, and I couldn't do it. I'm just like, you know what? I gotta go back to work. So um, this thing right here, I feel like I could probably go all around my house and go around any obstacle. So that was my little first impression. So I uh, hope you guys liked the video. Stay tuned for some future videos coming up shortly so that I can show you more about the application, what it does, the setup and everything else, as well as how nimble is this thing? How quick is this thing? How is the battery? It says it's four hours. Um, it also says uh, that you're able to go about like a, uh, 14 miles. You can go you know, 11 miles per hour, 10 miles per hour. But my guess is that they did the uh, person testing this thing being you know, maybe around 155, 160 pounds, going 9.6 miles per hour. Uh, and so that's kind of the, the numbers that they base it on. So I weigh about 180, I'm 5'10", and I'm gonna see exactly how this thing performs. So stay tuned, hope you guys liked the video, and I'll see you guys later.